The Articles of the Constitution, Article 6, the Supremacy Clause. Hello and welcome back, everybody. So today we will be discussing Article 6 and Article 7 of the Constitution. And Article 6, what I need you to do right now is just pause your video and you can read it and then you unpause it and I'll explain everything to you. So what we're dealing with in this first article or first paragraph of Article 6 is the fact that the United States recognized that the debts they incurred under the Articles of Confederation were truly indeed needed to be taken care of. So they put this uh, paragraph in so that the United States would be obligated to pay all of its debts. Now the second paragraph deals with what is known as the Supremacy Clause. A constitution is a written plan of government. The constitution is the supreme law of the land. Again, when we change the article from a to the, you're changing the entire meaning of what the constitution is. So keep that in mind. You'll see that again. A constitution is a written plan of government. The constitution is the supreme law of the land. Now, what does that mean? Well, in short, it means that all laws made by the federal government supersede all laws made by state governments. Now, you have to look at it this way. Um, take, for instance, the, the probably the hottest topic right now, which is marijuana. Medical marijuana is legal in the state of Pennsylvania. However, it is still considered a Scheduled I narcotic on the federal government's list of drugs. Meaning that if you were to go into, let's say, a federal building, an airport, uh, maybe even a national park, and you were caught with your medical marijuana, well, you would be charged federally. So even though the states are allowing it, because the federal government doesn't, the states are actually in violation of that federal article. The prioritizing of federal over state powers is known as the doctrine of preemption. Article 6 also provides that both federal and state officials, including legislatures and judges, must obey the U.S. Constitution. Uh, and to ensure the freedom of religion, this article ensures that no public official be required to practice or pledge allegiance to any particular religion. The Articles of the Constitution, Article 7, Ratification. Article 7 is a very brief article. It's known as the Ratification Clause, and it basically states that the ratification of the conventions of nine states shall be sufficient for the establishment of this Constitution between the states, so ratifying the same. What this means is that once nine states approve, the Constitution is the new form of government. If you, if you remember back at the articles, it took 13 of 13 states to change. Now we're saying 9 of 13. Delaware, of course, was the first state to ratify, and, and here in Pennsylvania, we were the second. Ironically, Delaware was once part of Pennsylvania. Now, New Hampshire signed on June 24, 1788. They were the ninth state to ratify, which put the Constitution as the newest form of government. Officially, we would have convened the first Congress on March 4, 1789. So if you want to know the Constitution's birth date, there you go. And of course, the last section of Article 7 is the Attestation Clause, which simply refers to uh, the end of the document, which people who are responsible certify that document, usually through signature. And of course, we see this through all of our major documents, including the Declaration of Independence, which is why I put John Hancock's name there, because he is the most widely recognized signature of defiance. Well, in this case, it wouldn't be through defiance, but this is to certify any document. And of course, we know that this document won't be the final because they're going to add a Bill of Rights, which is what we'll get into shortly.